diversity fandom innocent. So this has got tea written all over it. I'm really just gonna expose myself here. I don't really feel like I can expose the stories because I don't really feel like I'd see daylight if I did again. Hey queens, Ruby Nye here and welcome back or welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing all things diversity Q&A related. So I've actually done two of these Q&As, but the first one was a little bit too much. Who's your favorite member? No, this one is getting down to the T, the real truth. So yesterday I put on my story for people to ask me questions, but there's a slight twist. I cannot see who you are because these questions are in fact anonymous. So I cannot see who the hell you are. So we are indeed going to be getting very dirty and getting our hands just a little bit grubby in today's Q&A. But guys, I really need to stress this. 9% of you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. And that is so devastating because I spent hours editing. And I actually have a goal to get to 1,000 subscribers by my mom's birthday, which is on the 18th of July. So please subscribe for me and my mom. But without further ado, let's just get into this video. I'm so excited and yeah, let the Q&A begin. First anonymous question. Are they just as nice in person as they are on their socials? Honestly, they are even nicer in person. I was actually really shocked by this. The person that I was most scared to meet was Mitch because he never ever smiles. So I literally thought he was just a really moody person, but he was so kind. Answer to that question, they are even kinder. They're literally the best, best people in the world. Next question has a little bit of tea to it. Is the diversity fandom innocent? So this has got a lot of tea to it. I personally have not been in any scandals, but I do know a lot of people that have got into some very deep drama that got quite a bit too far. I don't really feel like I can expose the stories because I don't really feel like I'd see daylight if I did again. But answering the question, honestly, the diversity fandom are just the kindest people ever. I've made so many internet best friends off it, and yeah, I'm so glad I joined because it's just been such a fun experience. Next question, I want everyone to reply to this. In the comments, write down who you would say. I'm just gonna read you the question. Ash, Jord, Perry, kiss, kill, marry. I think the answers are pretty obvious to this. Of course I would marry the legend Perry Kylie. I feel like when I say Perry Kylie's name, it needs its own sound effect. Ooh, and then there's Jord or Ash, kiss and kill. But they're such nice people. I don't want to kill any of them. Oh, this is actually really hard. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to have to go with Kiss Jordan because he is hunky. Oh my God. And sadly, I'd have to kill Ash. I don't even want to say that, but it's kind of the truth. No, I, that sounds really bad. I don't want to kill Ash at all, guys. But you know, he's just left. It is what it is. And we're going to have to move on. Next question. Next question is, um, yeah. Have you ever had a weird dream about the DB members? And um, I'm not, uh, I'm really just going to expose myself here. Yes, I've had very many weird thoughts and dreams about them. Um, I don't really know how far I can go with this because I'm trying to keep a PG content, you know what I'm saying? The answer to that is 100% um, yes. <laughs> but the thing is, who hasn't? If you haven't, are you a true fan though? No, I'm sure you are, I'm sure you are, but yeah, I'm a very weird one, but I'm sure there are other fans that can relate to this, so comment down below if you're one of them fans. Ooh, we get to the T here. Best and worst hugger. Oh, I've, I've got this, I've got this. Jord was such a great hugger. Like, that, that tight grip to that man, that, that was pain, that was pain. The worst hugger has to be Theo. I'm sorry, mate, but you literally gave me a little pat on the back, basically. It probably was a bit of my fault for the bag hug. Bag hug, I cannot speak today. Next question is a little bit long, so I'm gonna read it off my phone. You said in your last Q&A that Theo, Adam, and Lil J were the most awkward at the meet and greet because they weren't really used to being in them as much. What would you recommend it for not to be awkward since I have a huge crush on Theo? Okay, so I'm not really a massive Theo fan, so I really don't know him that well, but I would honestly just not do what I did and not be like, hi guys, because I feel like that's a little bit too much. Like they're just normal people at the end of the day. Just be completely natural with them. Like I was natural with them and my personality is just literally to go hi guys like that. Yeah, maybe just tone it down a bit, Ruby. Like squeeze all your energy into a little ball basically. But yeah, I'm sure you're having an amazing time with Theo. He's just, he's a, he's a great guy. Quality guy. 
quality guy. Next question, how did I start a fan page for them? Because I really want to, but I don't know where to start. Honestly, do whatever feels comfortable, post whatever you wanna post. You can post edits, you can post memes, you can post games, you can post videos, I don't even know. I found that when I started posting on my fan page, the things that I was really actually interested in, I started getting more numbers, more followers. The thing that really blew up my fan page was when I posted the video of when I met Perry and that just went kind of viral. Yeah, my answer to that is just to be genuine, be you and be beautiful. I'm sure you already are, babe. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It kind of was a little bit more messier. We got to the nitty gritty bitty little things. If you do enjoy my diversity Q and A's, you know the drill, make sure to give this video a massive thumbs up subscribe down below if you aren't already like i said earlier we've got a goal to reach 1000 subscribers for our birthday <gasps> that was a breath but yeah i love you guys in the moon and back stay safe and i'll see you guys in a bit peace it was cool.